All right, welcome back to the build site, Casa Torino. This morning is the first day of pouring the metalite walls. Let's go take a look. We started here in the main bedroom. So you'll notice they're using plywood as the form, but that's because this this portion is below grade. This is the the admixture that they're using for the metalite walls, and uh, this was a requirement from the metalite engineers. Uh, we didn't use any of this on columns or beams or footings, but uh, this is what they recommend for the walls. It allows you to use less water. Your end result, you increase your PSI strength of the finished concrete. I'll put a link in the description to more information about this product. While I've been out here waiting for the for that admixture, actually, we've been waiting for that for a couple of, couple of days to come in. But I also wanted to talk about maybe give you some hints about uh, building and deciding specifically on your outlets and, and your water outlets. It's so important. I mean, you're going to go through that during your, your blueprint design and your requirements. But hopefully you'll be able to be on site during the build process and get you a, a big, uh, big Sharpie marker. And uh, you're going to find you, what you told them in the beginning isn't enough. You know, don't be shy about it. You know, I'm, I was a little shy sometimes asking for more than what we first agreed on and it depends on your architect and your and your builder whether they're going to accommodate you you know under this regular pricing agreement that you agreed on or is something going to cost more but regardless when you're dealing with uh, water outlets and electrical outlets just get past that and ask for what you want because a poured concrete build you're not going to be able to go in there and and pop in a little water outlet. You know, if you find yourself six months after the build, you have to drag a water hose halfway around your house. You don't want that. So I'm gonna go show you what I've done. To me, it's a matter of convenience, matter of planning to keep your uh, keep yourself happy in the long run. So I demanded that we have a <clears throat> at least one water outlet on each side of the house and I'm looking at at least two electrical outlets on each corner of the home um, that's going to give me the flexibility to to do watering um, without dragging a hose around and plugging in anything I want to plug in without a giant extension cord yeah, same thing on the inside when you're when you're walking around your build and I hope you can you're gonna you're gonna have an idea Wow, I wish I would have put a Electrical outlet there same thing with water like you know, I, I put a shower in our in our pool area and So I'm, I'm walking around there. I'm thinking wait a minute, you know uh, We're gonna need an outlet for water because I want to be able to have a hose In a pool area you've got to have a hose so you can clean your the pool deck and things like that so I added that, and uh, for the bar area, I just I'm just going crazy with with that. I told them um, I want outlets everywhere. I want water everywhere. So I'll take a walk around and show you a little bit of what I just added the last couple of days. Uh, I added one here last night, and it's already in. I'm here at the front corner of the house. And this is the, the water outlet that I saw last night that wasn't there. And it's, it's gonna be nice to, to have that for watering or anything you wanna do here in the front of the, front of the house. I'm gonna add an outlet here for electrical. This is our main entryway. I've got another water here, another electric here. And then over, this is the front of the kitchen. I put one here, electrical. And then I want another water here. Uh, especially sometimes when 
you have a laundry room or a CR on the corner of your house, it's nothing to put a, a water outlet on the outside because that area is filled with water pipes anyway. So it's gonna be easy for them to do. Just go ahead and ask for it. So as you can see, with the water outlet here, uh, if I wanted to water down here and I didn't have that, I would have to drag a hose all the way down here. And as I move around the side of the house, uh, I've got an electrical outlet here. This is the dirty kitchen. This is a portico uh, outlet, a uh, portico hallway that's going to have an exit door here. Another outlet right here. And as I walked around this side, I said to myself, well, this is a CR, so let's put another outlet for water here. And this is going to be the patio area. And all this area here. This is going to be um, the breezeway. You walk from the main house out to the, the decking of the patio. So I'm going to go nuts here with water and electric. Down here is the bar area. I'm going to take a walk down there and show you the bar area. We did some redesign of, on that. This is the lower pool. And then the rear of the master bedroom, I added that electrical, I added this electrical. And on this side, we've got a water right there. This is my hobby room here. And, and as such, I plan to have shelves here about, you know, about chest height for me. So I didn't want my electrical outlets to be under there. I wanted them to be up above the shelves. And as you can see, I went nuts here with, with the electrical. Got three outlets on this wall. Three outlets here, right here on this wall. And then sometimes they just overlook, you know, or maybe it was me, but uh, on this wall, there was only one. So I said, well, let's just, I, I marked it up with my Sharpie and it's nothing to add outlets before you've got those panels down and concrete board. So if you're even contemplating that, now's the time to do it. I've got a note to myself here and others up here uh, to put outlets up in the corner of every room because that's on the ceiling is where I'm going to either put a rotating fan, a bug zapper, or a emergency light. So it's important also not to forget outlets up above your head where you're not looking. <laughs> 